Today we're going to be taking a look at part number 118480. This is the Tow Ready T1 vehicle wiring harness with a four pole flat trailer connector. This fits the Nissan Rogue beginning in year 2008. It fits the Infiniti G35 from 2007 to 2008 and the Infiniti G37 from 2009 to 2013. Now to double check and make sure this fits your particular vehicle, you can use the vehicle fit guide located right here on our website at eTrailer.com. This unit is going to provide a four-way flat trailer connector at the back of your vehicle to power your trailer signal lights. It is compatible with five pole, six pole, and seven pole adapters. Those are sold separately. The unit is going to connect quickly and easily. All you have to do is locate the connection points in the rear of your vehicle, uh, typically behind the tail lights, and plug in your T connectors. The side with the yellow wire is going to go towards the driver's side. The side with the green wire is going to run to the passenger side, so that gives you a little bit more wiring so that way you can run it across the back of your vehicle. It's going to come with some extra black wire. This is so you can run the hot lead to the car battery. That black wire is going to attach to the red wire coming out of the modulite. The modulite is included. It's already wired into the unit and that's going to ensure that your vehicle's wiring matches that of your trailers. The powered module is going to connect directly to the battery through the wiring to avoid overloading the vehicle's electrical system. The unit's going to be constructed of 16 gauge bonded wire. Here's your four-way flat connector. It's got plenty of wiring, uh, so that way you can run out the back of the vehicle as needed. It's also going to include the dust cap for the four-way flat connector. That way you can cover up the connection points when it's not in use and protect them from the elements and just keep out any dirt or moisture uh, from causing any type of corrosion to your connections. When it comes to the maximum amperage for the stop and turn lights, that's 2.1 amps per circuit and your tail lights is 5.6 amps per circuit. It's a really simple installation. It's going to come with some detailed instructions and everything that you need to get it installed. So it looks like you're going to get some zip ties. You're going to get a self-tapping screw. That's so you can make a good ground connection right here with the white wire with the ring terminal attached to it. You're going to get the yellow fuse holder. You're going to get the fuse. You're going to get the necessary ring terminals and butt connectors that you need to make all your connections. So the custom fit T1 connector is going to plug into your vehicle's wiring harness and that's going to be located inside your trunk area behind the tail lights on both the driver's side and passenger side of your vehicle. You are going to need to remove a few items, uh, maybe some interior trim or carpeting. That way you can access the uh, factory harness. Once you've plugged in the T connectors, you'll need to run the hot lead up to your car battery. You're going to connect the lead, which is the black wire um, and the red wire. You're going to connect those with the included uh, fuse holder, the butt connectors. And so the black wire is going to connect to the red wire with the butt connector. It's going to run all the way up to the vehicle battery. You're going to connect the fuse holder using another butt connector to the end of the black wire. Then one end of the fuse holder gets connected uh, to the positive terminal on the battery and um, it gets connected using the ring terminal and you'll need to install the included fuse inside the fuse holder. Once you have everything connected, once your installation is complete, the four-way flat connector is going to be stored within your trunk. Uh, you're going to keep it out of the way. That way it's easily accessible when you need it and it's kind of hidden when you don't. And then you're going to get the zip ties. That's going to be to secure any excess wiring that you may have or to take the slack out of any wiring that you may have. And it's just going to clean up your excess look. <clears throat> or excuse me, it's going to clean up your installation. And then you're going to get some double-sided adhesive tape. That's going to go on the back of the modulite. And that way you can stick it to a nice clean surface and uh, keep it out of the way. It is recommended that you always use some uh, grease on all the electrical connections like the plugs on your vehicle and the four pole connector itself and that's just designed to help prevent any type of corrosion. That's going to do it for our review of part number 118480. This is the T1 vehicle wiring harness with a four pole flat trailer connector.